Hello, my name is Andreas Arvidsson and I do software development by voice. Why coding by voice, you might ask, and the reasons are many. You could have a disability which impairs your ability to use a keyboard or a mouse. You could spend too much time at your computer which puts a strain on your body, or you might just have realized the benefits of using your voice as an additional input device. Combining keyboard, mouse and voice inputs are very powerful and beneficial. And today I'm going to talk about two different pieces of software, Talon Voice and Cursorless, which enables me to control my computer and do programming by voice. We start off with Talon Voice, which is the primary software I use to control my computer. Talon Voice is a software for hands-free input and support not just uh, voice control, but also noise control and eye tracking. One huge upside with Talon is its customization and support for Python scripts. You define your own voice commands which can do simple things like pressing a key or inserting text to more powerful things like calling your own Python scripts. Basically anything you can do in Python you can do with your voice using Talon. And I personally use it for so much more than programming. Stuff like sending emails and messaging, controlling music playback, switching applications and restarting my computer are normal tasks for me. Talon itself has no built-in voice commands, which I really like. There are no pesky defaults you have to learn to live with. Instead, it's up to the user to define their own sets of commands. You might think that this sounds like something that's hard to get into, but it is a great community repository with scripts for almost anything you can desire. And due to this, most Talon users have a common core of voice commands with only minor changes, while other users have gone their own way with a total custom setup. But enough talking, let's show a demo of this. Class, my class. Var private string value. Semi. Slapper. Constructor. Var string value. Down. Tab, state this dot, word value, op equals word value, semi, down, slapper, function print value, down, state print word value, stop, down, slapper, function main, Pascal my class, space, var my class equals new my class. String, lorem ipsum 6, slap, camel my class, dot, camel print value, round, tail, semi, run program. Cursorless is an extension to development environment Visual Studio Code. I'm a bit biased since I'm part of the development team, but I think the Cursorless is amazing. In essence, Cursorless allows you to reference every single word or symbol in the editor and perform actions on them without having to navigate there with your cursor first. Cursorless enables this by decorating one character in each token with a floating circle, and you can then reference the entire token by that single character. Conflicts are solved by adding colors to the decorations. On top of the decorations, there are modifiers that allow you to reference entire classes, functions, lists, statements, and more. Combining this with actions for selecting, moving, deleting, and so on, gives you a very powerful tool for editing any kind of text, really, but programming languages in particular. I'm going to show you a demo of this now. Here we have a file with six different tokens. One symbol or one character in each token is decorated by Cursorless. By referencing that specific decorated character, we reference the entire token. In my phonetic alphabet, these are harp, whale, semi, air, bat, and blue air. The reason for the last A having a color is because we can't otherwise distinguish them. Using a cursorless action, together with these decorated characters, we can perform actions on the entire token. I'm now going to show you the action take, which sets selection. Talon wake. 
take harp, take whale, take semi, take air, take bat, take blue air, drowse. We can combine multiple tokens using and, or we can do ranges between them using past and the combination of these two. Let's have a look. Talon wake. Take whale past semi. Take air and blue air. Take whale past semi and bat. We can do more than just select individual tokens. With the help of modifiers, we can select entire lines, paragraphs, lists, maps, functions, strings, and more. Let me show you. Talon wake. Take two. Take list two. Take line two. Take map bat. Take item bat. Take string ink. Take funk ink. Take block ink. Take every key bat. Take value. Take item. Take state. Drowse. Let me show you a few more cursorless actions. Talon wake. Bring whale. Undo. Bring whale to harp. Undo. Swap whale with harp. Undo. Shuck harp. Undo. Tab next. Reverse every item. Sort every item. Slapper. Bring state odd. Take every key bat. Swap with value. Post pit. Two. I use Talon and Curseless for so much more than programming. In this example, I'm going to show you a Slack message. Talon wake. Say this is example hello world. Draft line. Format trap as title. Post ink. Space. Air. Format harp past whale as upper. Post that. Bang. Draft submit. Okay.